Hey all, welcome to this week's Unreal Engine News and Community Spotlight. Recently, we announced the launch of our Unreal Authorized Training Partner Program. The demand for Unreal Engine skills is projected to grow 119% over the next 10 years, so it's the perfect time to connect with skilled trainers and training centers to share their knowledge and help educate professionals around the globe. Partners in the program will gain access to training curriculum, unique branding, and be invited to the annual UATC Summit. For more about the benefits, eligibility, and application process, read our program overview. For 3D Arena fighting game Jump Force, which infuses megastars from Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece, My Hero Academia, and more, developer Spike Chunsoft spent considerable time making sure that characters' movesets felt true to their source material while also creating a balanced, competitive roster. If this weren't challenging enough, the Japanese developer also went the extra mile to create a compelling narrative that ties all of these disparate universes together. Speaking to how the studio is able to accomplish this world colliding task, we caught up with producer Koji Nakajima for a quick chat about the project. While Jump Force was released earlier this year, the producer elaborates on how the studio is still releasing new content for the game and is taking an active approach working with the game's community to continually improve Jump Force over time. NVIDIA has wrapped up their DXR Spotlight contest, an event celebrating amazing ray trace content from Unreal developers. Each of the contest's three finalists showed off the tech in a variety of really fun ways. Congrats to Christian Hecht with Attack from Outer Space, which recreates the look of classic 50s sci-fi films. Alden Fillion for Diode, where one plays as a futuristic knight battling the forces of evil. And to Opus Visual for LP Trailer, in which you can drive a big rig around a truck yard. Nice work, everyone. For those of you looking for the latest and greatest, Unreal Engine 4.23 Preview 5 is now available for download. Have fun and take our newest features for a test run. As always, we appreciate any feedback you may have on these builds, but do keep in mind they are not production ready, so make copies of your projects for now. Check out the full list of fixes and changes on the Previews forum thread. And on to our weekly Karma Earners, we're giving a big shout out to Clockwork Ocean, Shadow River, Thompson N13, Jez Central, Zia, 6R0M, T Sumisaki, Barrio Dole, Cosmic Lobster, and Firefly74. Thank you so much for helping out folks over on Answer Hub. You all are absolutely wonderful. An atmospheric first-person puzzle adventure, Hourglass, is our first spotlight of the week. Discover Egyptian technologies, solve challenging puzzles by manipulating time, and explore an ancient world. Really, really great work by this fantastic team of only two. Next up is Trails of the Black Sun, a first-person shooter and platformer hybrid. Set in a digital simulation, the Ancient Order of the Black Sun sends you, an initiate, to find hidden artifacts and face the Templars. And we're wrapping up with You Don't Have Time. This first-person puzzle game takes you on a journey through a sci-fi labyrinth filled with puzzles. Will you have time to solve them one by one to discover the reason of your presence? Guess you'll have to play to find out. Thanks for joining us for this week's News and Community Spotlight.